Hi. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to pass data from one view controller to another. So here is an example of what our project will do. We have a basic text field and the user will be able to type in some information and when we press send, it's going to open up a second view controller and load the information from this text field. So when I press send, this is our second view controller and you can see that it did pull in the data from the text field. So to get started, let's create a new project in Xcode. To create a project, I'm going to choose a single view application and then click Next. And I'm going to give it a name, so I'm just going to call this Passing Data. And I'm going to make sure my device family is set for iPhone and use automatic reference counting is unchecked and click next. And I'm going to save this and we're ready to start setting up our interface. So I'm going to begin by going to the view controller nib file and we'll add some components in here. I'm going to put in a text field because we're going to type in some information here from the text field and then take that information and display it on a separate view controller. So I'm going to also add a button so that that will cause our action to send this data to a second view controller. So I'm just going to say send. And now I need to set up my outlets and actions for this. So I'm going to close the utility panel and open up the assistant editor and our text view is going to be an outlet so I'm going to right click and drag from that and we'll give this the name let's just say some data right now we don't care what it is we're just going to pass it to the other view controller so I'm going to click connect and now we're going to set up the button to cause an action so I'm going to right click and drag from it into the header file I'm going to change the connection type to an action and I'm going to call this method send data and connect. Okay, so our interface is set up. Now we need a second view controller. The sample that or the template that I selected was just a single view. So we need another view controller that's going to capture the information from this text field and display it. So I'm going to right click on my passing data folder and I'm going to choose new file and it's an objective C class. Click next. I'm going to give it a name so we'll say uh, let's call this the target view controller and we want to make sure it's a subclass of UI view controller and we need a nib file for it so make sure that's checked and we'll click next. Now it says where do you want to save your files to and we're going to keep it in our passing data folder so we'll click create and so here we have our header file and our implementation file and our new nib file for our second view controller. So while the nib file is open for our target view controller let's go in and set that view up so I'm going to go out of the assistant editor and open up the utility panel again and I'm just going to put a label over here and this is going to be our label that's going to hold the information that is in our first view controller that's a text field that's going to send the data and we're going to put it into this label. So I'm going to exit back out of the utility panel and go back into the assistant editor and set up this label as an outlet. So I'm going to right click and drag from it over and let's just say this is this result label and connect. So we have our two user interfaces set up. We have our view controller which is the one that's going to load when the application loads. The user is going to type in some information here, hit send and it's going to open up this target view controller nib file and 
take the content of what's in that text field and put it into this label. So that's what we're aiming for. So first of all, let's get the send button. Right? We're going to get the send button to open up and show and display the target view controller. So it will open up this view. So let's get that part working first. So we need to work in the view controller header file to begin with and mine is already open over here and we need to import in the header file for our other view controller. It doesn't know about it yet so we're going to say to import the target view controller header file. Now let's go into the implementation file and set up this method so that it opens up this target view controller. So I'm going to exit out of the assistant editor and go into the view controller implementation file. Now it automatically put this IB action at the end and I'm just going to move this up to the top right after the synthesize statement so that we have a little more space on the screen and a little, it'll be easier to see in the video. Now we need to get the view controller for our target view controller and actually um, we still need to set something else up in the view controller header file. So back in here we need to create an instance of the view controller. So I'm going to put in a set of curly braces right after the interface line and we're going to say target view controller and we'll give it the name target view controller just with a little lowercase t. Now we'll be able to use this in our view controller implementation file. So we can say target view controller is equal to the target view controller. We have to allocate it and initialize it into memory and I'm going to init with nib name and the nib name is target view controller and the bundle is nil, empty. So now that we have a target view controller allocated into memory we can display it by saying self view add sub view and the sub view that we're adding is target view controller and its view. Okay, so let's just see if our button will link and open up the other view controller. So we haven't done anything with this text field yet, so I'm just going to tap send and it does work to open up the other view controller. So that part is working. So next we have to see how to get the information from this text field to be carried into our target view controller and then display the contents of that in this label. And the easiest way to do that is to create a property on the target view and then retrieve that property from the calling view. So in this case our view controller is the calling view and the target is our target view controllers. So in our view controller nib file, right, we have this property. Let me go into the assistant editor mode. So our text field called some data has already been created. And then we need to go into our target view controller and create a property to retrieve that. So in the target view controller header file, let me go out of the assistant editor mode so that we just have this one here. So we're going to create an object for our text field. So we'll say UI text field and we'll call this the user text. And then we need to expose its properties. So I'm just going to copy this and it's a UI text field user text. So we create an object of the UI text field type called user text and then we're exposing it as a property. Next, let's go into the target view controller implementation file. And right away, it's saying that user text requires a method. What it's saying is that over here, we created user text, but it didn't get synthesized over here. So I can just add this on and say user text, and then that takes care of our warning. 
Now we can go into our view did load method because when our view loads is when we want it to display the data from the first screen. So when the view loads, we want to take the result label text and set that equal to the user text text. So now you would think at this point that when we test it and run it, it would work. So let's try that out and just see what it does. So if I type in some values here and press send, it goes to the second screen, but it doesn't just doesn't put our text into the label. So there's still something else that we need to set up. When you think about it, how does it know what user text is when we get to this target view controller? Because we've synthesized result label and user text in the target view controller, but in the view controller implementation file, the value that's coming from our text field is called some data. We need to make some kind of a connection to get some data from here into our target view controller. And so we do that here when we do our send data before we load our view, right? We load target view controller into memory. And now what we want to do is say in our target view controller, the user text is equal to some data. Okay, some data is initialized here in our view controller file. And before we display this view, we can say, okay, in this target view controller, the user text is going to be equal to what's coming from this view controller from some data. So now if I run it in the simulator and put in some text and I press send, now our label is getting the value. So we're passing the data along to the target view controller by saying that that user text value is equal to some data from this view controller. So that's one method of passing data. In this case, we used a text field so that when the send button is tapped, it passes this data into the target view controller. And we do that in our view controller implementation file. When the button is tapped, it does this send data. We add or load the target view controller with the nib into memory. We tell the target view controller that the user text is equal to some data. When it gets to the target view controller implementation file, in our view did load, we say the result label text is equal to the user text text. So that is a basic way of passing data between two different view controllers.